In the world of politics, President Joe Biden formally announcing his campaign for re-election. In fact, he posted a video on social media before May. You may have woken up taking a look. Freedom, personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. Also in the video, President Biden went on to say, quote, every generation has a moment where they have had to stand up for democracy, to stand up for their fundamental freedom, end quote. Now, this comes as a new poll shows seven in 10 Americans think he should not run for another term. All right, so joining us this morning is political analyst Morgan Peckline to share his thoughts on how President Biden's re-election campaign will play out and discuss the biggest challenge that he faces. So, Morgan, good to see you this morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Dan. So you just heard the poll, right? There, recent poll showing Democratic voters concerned uh, about the president's age. So let's talk about that poll first and foremost at the time that this video was dropped this morning before people woke up. Well, certainly both um, a majority of Democrats think just by a very narrow margin that the president shouldn't run for re-election and the president's uh, favorability rating is hovering around 41%. So these are generally not the conditions uh, that would be ideal for a president to seek re-election. But at the same time, President Biden's most likely opponent, former President Trump, actually has far worse favorability ratings where he's hovering in the 25 percent range. So, um, you know, the expected matchup here between Biden and Trump still looks very favorable for the president and that's one of the things that is at the forefront of this campaign. So does any of that play into the timing of this because President Biden spent the weekend at Camp David finalizing the plans of this re-election campaign but political insiders they weren't expecting him to announce his plans until this summer so why do you think he moved up the timeline? Uh, well this is the exact same time that he uh, announced in the last cycle maybe it's just a sense that that was a, a lucky choice then it does seem uh, it was surprising that he decided to jump into the race now i mean one of the real uh, advantages of formally announcing your campaign is that you can raise money i'm sure that was something that was a great concern within the biden orbit that they needed to get a fast start on fundraising um and this was also surprising because this is such a, a murky week particularly mm in the wake of what happened yesterday with Tucker Carlson. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, Morgan, there were also reports before today's announcement uh, about Julie Chavez Rodriguez, the granddaughter of labor leader Cesar Chavez, who will serve as Biden's campaign manager, right? That could play well among Latinos and younger voters. So what are your thoughts uh, about that selection? Um, well, I, I am not an expert in, uh, in Joe Biden's campaign manager, but what it is clear is that he is both trying to keep the progressive base in his corner, which is something that he has been able to do successfully during his first term. Um, a lot of the people who were very vehemently anti-Biden last cycle have come around to the president. And at the same time, he also is trying to animate the the democratic base particularly with um, black and latino voters mm -hmm. and this is something that um, is is very a uh, key part of his strategy so what do you think then morgan what what are the biggest challenges that president biden and the democratic party as a whole facing this upcoming uh this upcoming presidential election well i think the number one a uh, problem that Joe Biden is facing is his age. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you see, even in that campaign video, um, there's just very few moments where Joe Biden looks really animated, very in, uh, like he is, is ready to serve until he is 85 as the president. He's already the oldest president in American history. Um, and then also we have just such a polarized nation and this idea that we have to finish the job and we need to come together um, that is being promoted in his campaign video. I think most Americans, it, it's that's a hard thing to believe. 
uh, as we've just grown more polarized and more divided during the course of the Biden presidency. Uh, and let's also talk about that video, right? Because there's been a lot of speculation in the political world, and there are these rumors and conjecture, none of them really confirm that the president and, and the vice president really didn't see eye to eye, they don't communicate well. That was just a rumor, right? But in this video, Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, front and center, obviously the running mate here once again. Any surprise here for you? Um, I think that it would have been very difficult for Joe Biden to drop Kamala Harris from the ticket. Um, in this video, it, she is very much um, positioned as a, a powerful supporter of Joe Biden. Uh, the way that she's just even framed, it's always in this role uh, of giving him an assist and, and them being together as a team. Um, and of course, the the black vote was absolutely essential for Joe Biden, not just to win the presidency, uh, but to win the Democratic primary. That was really the key to his victory over, uh, particularly over Bernie Sanders. And so um, for him to drop the, the first woman vice president, the first black and the first um, South Asian mm. vice president from the ticket would have been a very difficult political move. Yeah, we also saw the president with the Tennessee three this week. Do you think we're going to see a lot more of that as well? Absolutely. And, and the fact that he's put Jim Clyburn as his national co-chair, uh, he is really signaling. And, and uh, also he has Justice Brown uh, very prominently featured in his campaign ad really shows that he is trying to uh, reassemble the coalition that successfully uh, propelled him to the presidency. All right, Morgan, thank you for joining us this morning on a morning of breaking news here. Appreciate you and your expertise as always.